A huge win for the Indian superstar, Pragnananda scores an absolutely thrilling victory against former world champion, Weslin Topolov. He joins us in our studio. Prag, firstly, a big congratulations on this win against Weslin. I have to ask you, is this uh, your first time playing against a former world champion in a classical time control? Yeah, I think uh, yeah, I think so. This is my first time. Not, I don't for now. I don't recollect any game, but I think this is the first. Time. Rapid and blitz you've played. No. Yeah, I played in Tata Steel. In Tata yeah. Steel. So, uh, how was the preparation for this game when you got to know your best lane? You're playing best lane. What was the preparation like? Yeah, it was tough to guess where he will go, and yeah, I was looking at some some lines, but I was I was not looking at this knight f6 classical line. Um, so I was just playing on my own. Like I knew some things, but because what he played, I didn't know that. Right. So, so this point, I went for bishop e2. And he was playing quite fast. Uh, yeah, he knew till this point, and and yeah, here I took long time. I was just thinking something like f5. Let me just put that here. F5, and but doesn't work actually. Even e5 was possible. That that's what he suggested. And knight d5, just knight c6 e2. But I was mainly worried of bishop g5 and yeah, if, uh, if let's say queen d3, then I think now e5 was even stronger or even some bishop a6. But I was considering bishop e3, bishop e3, um, yeah, queen e3, d4, now let's say queen f3, d3, queen a8. Yeah, then first I was thinking queen d4, but then I thought just cb2 was even stronger. Yeah. Yeah. It just gets stuck sometimes. Yeah, rook d1. Yeah. yeah queen c7. <laughs> yeah. And you uh, evaluated as uh, black being fine here. Yeah, it's. I mean, he gets. Like now it's threat is nice as bishop b7. And I need to bring my queen and e f5, bishop e6, nice. And the pawn is still alive on b2. Yeah, yeah. I will take eventually, but. Then you will get e5. E5 pawn. Yeah, it should be good for black. Right. And you took a good 35 minutes for this. Yeah, I don't know why I took so much time. I mean, I, first of all, like, I, I was thinking even knight d1. Like he said, knight d1 was uh, Indian suggestion and maybe it was just, should be around equal somehow. So knight d1 was his prep, so you surprised him. And after bishop f2 is the first time he actually started taking some time. Yeah. And... Yeah, I played bishop a6 also, knight c6 was, I think, even possible. Yeah, I played bishop a6. No, but I think here yeah, black should be fine after knight b4, that's what uh, we analyzed. Just go knight c6. And okay, so reroute the knight. Yeah, there's no much attack for me. But I think EFA is um, kind of a mistake. Right. And because I just get my knight to d5. Yeah, I play c4 next. So after E F five, did you feel your positions better? Yeah, of course. Like here, I didn't like. Now I don't have much attack, but it's somewhat. I can create some attack, but right. it doesn't feel there's much. But after E F and I defend now, I think like maybe even already I'm better. And here he went knight B four. Yeah, then just C four. Um, rook C eight, A three. Yeah, he can take. Um, C D five and Bishop C five, but I mean near just some Rook D one. So you keep these two central pawns and yeah, I just play D six and even just exchange Rooks. It looks very pleasant for White. Yeah, it should be better. And after Knight C six, I just play Rook F one. And uh, yeah, here we were trying some Rook E eight, but just Rook D one was just stronger. Save some Bishop C five. I'm going to have four. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah. yeah. Okay, bishop f2. Yeah, I can do it. And then on knight f6. This knight f6 was a threat throughout. It's in the air once your knight yeah. is posted on d5, no? Yeah, it's uh, it's not easy for black to play in these kind of positions. So ef5 was a surprising decision by Wesley. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's just better for white. Knight a5, it's not so good, I think. Just rook d1. I mean, it's dangerous for black. 
So here he can't take on c4 because you just move your queen to f4 or? Maybe he can take but I was just thinking queen e2, queen e2. if queen e8 then e6. Okay. It looks dangerous for black. Right. Uh, maybe there is something even better, even queen f4 um, was... Yeah, if queen e8 then some knight f6 might be there. Yeah, always in the air. Yeah. Um, and then and this happened very quickly after this trade here he... Yeah, here, uh, I think Queen H4 might be an important move because um, it's not easy for him to do anything. If Queen E6, then Knight F6 comes. Anyway, you've got this because if you take and then now it's the same idea yeah. with the Queen attack. And if he goes King H8, that was, I was thinking like it's the main try, but then Rook D1, Queen E6. Let's try one. Knight F4. Yeah. Uh, he can't take Knight, uh, Queen C4, yeah, Knight G6 comes. So you win the queen here? Yeah, uh, I was thinking queen e7. Yeah. First I was, uh, yeah. let me try it. Yeah, I was thinking queen g3, like knight e5 and rook e5 and knight g6 comes. Oh nice, so always there are these tricks of winning yeah. the queen. And, but I didn't like, uh, I didn't like queen g3 because it goes rook fd8. Trades I was off. I thinking like rook d5, if it takes then cd5 but knight d4 was... Hmm. I like he goes knight e6 and c4 is So he stabilizes somewhat yeah, here. Yeah, uh, queen e7 is good for me. And just Later e6. This, he also told this one, it's just good for white. I mean, if rook c4. Yeah. Or well, then e f7 comes. So you can't take on f7 and knight e6 is yeah. coming next. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. Yeah, it should be winning somewhere. Even queen d8, which I was surprised with, because knight of six just wins. Yeah, so queen d8 is just, and he took 14 minutes. Yeah, uh, he missed knight of six and rook d1. Completely missed this. Uh, I mean, I'm sure he saw knight of six, but this idea of rook d1 was probably... Yeah, uh, maybe he missed it. I'm not sure. Because the point is that you can't take instantly because of this queen, queen d4 two. check. Yeah, after rook d1, say queen c7. Oh. Oh. Yeah, e f6. King H8, then I thought rook D3 was more precise because if he goes rook E8, uh, yeah. rook E8, <laughs> then rook H3 and he doesn't have rook E1 check. Because of the queen on H4. Yeah, even with the rook on rook D1 check shouldn't be really like much problem, but yeah, right. I think this is just precise. Okay, knight E5, take, take queen F6, knight G6. Yeah, here I... Yeah, I can just play slowly, but I saw this line h4, h5. But this is very nice because you went for a direct line here and your idea, of course, if he doesn't play h5 is to just, yeah, just uh, start h5. threatening mate. h5 was forced and rook f1. Near f4 was kind of a forced move because, yeah, I just win f5 pawn. No g4. Did you see g4 uh, when you played h4? Was this your... Yeah, yeah I okay, was nice. calculating it from here because, I mean, this looks forcing. Yeah, and he can't take uh, fg3 because of the f7. Yeah, part. if hg4, then h5 comes. So even and rook d3 worked. I mean, it's kind of a main thing because... And also here, if rook d3, g6, I'm actually in, like, in time. But there should be some other way to win, but yeah, I can just go king d2. Yeah. And rook f1, queen f7. Let's just have that on the board. Very yeah, nice. So you saw this whole variation on yeah, the board? Yeah, I saw rook d3. I mean, I need to see this one. King f2. Rook c4. Yeah, that I just run with the king. It's, it's not a problem. It's, yeah. Rook c2, king e1. Okay, and there are no perpetuals. Yeah, uh, yeah he took here. And he just, it just collapses because now he doesn't have enough material to defend. I just go rook e1 and he resigned it. A nice game also, a nice result, but also a well-played game. Yeah, I think in the opening I didn't play so well, but uh, after the opening, like after EFI, it was, it was good. Prague, now you lost the first game and after that you had five wins in a row. Uh, what's going on? <laughs> I don't know, I'm just like playing one game at a time. Right. Well, um, thank you very much. And before you go, I have to ask you that now that we've crossed the uh, halfway mark in the tournament, uh, going into the last four games, uh, you're one of our leaders at the event currently. Are you thinking about that or just going to continue with the strategy of one game at a time? Um, yeah, there are more four rounds. So yes. Yeah. I mean, still there is, um, it's not like clear that I'm a leader, but yeah, it's at least I'm there, like 
at five points. In the top yeah. pack. Five out of six, you have to be happy with that score, Prag. <laughs> yeah, it is good. <laughs> All right. Well, we really enjoy having you in the studio, telling us our games, and we look forward to more. All the best for the remaining games. Yeah, thanks. Thanks, Prag.